All new at 10, a Beaumont woman says vandals have damaged her downtown business for the second time this year. She blames a man who is homeless for the latest trouble. 12 News reporter Jordan James joins us. Jordan, the woman says she tried to help that homeless man. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. Barbara Wilson says the vandal is someone she trusted. She even offered him a job, but that trust turned to anger when she found out he was the one who damaged her shop. That's how I sell everything, posting it online. Barbara Wilson has made a living turning old antiques into valuable possessions. So my goal was always to have my own space, but this turned out to be a better, you know, situation. She recently purchased this 15,000 square feet building along the 1100 block of Calder with the hope of transforming this warehouse into an antique shop. It's okay, the building's under construction. They all know I'm working. Those plans are on hold. Last week she showed up and found broken windows and other damage. I'm thinking about maybe leasing this building and, and maybe finding another location. She thinks it'll take $3,000 to repair the damage. Michael Haskett works nearby and witness it all and kept hearing a couple of banging sounds and uh, went up to the door and looked and there was some guy, he had a big boulder like a rock and he was throwing it at the window. Wilson received a frantic phone call from neighbors who informed her that her storefront was damaged along with the windows to her truck. Started looking for other places to go. This is my business, I, you know, I have to be somewhere. And so, you know, I just started thinking what other city could I go to or what else could I do? Multiple witnesses tell 12 News that the person responsible is a homeless man who previously worked for Wilson. He worked for me for a while until he, you know, ended up getting on drugs and I told him I couldn't have him in the building because, you know, he was going to scare my customers. He was hollering and screaming about something. You ain't going to do this to me no more. And while the damage is done, Wilson is worried not about herself, but her customers. And I am concerned, but at the same time, I'm more concerned about putting more money in this building and then later on feeling like, you know, my customers are concerned about coming to visit me here. Wilson has filed a police report and she's hopeful that there will be an increase in presence from law enforcement in the area. She hopes to open up her antique shop this fall. Jordan James, 12 News. Thank you.